Guys, I'm gonna try a new experiment. I thought about, I made a comment the other day, I don't remember if it was a video or what, I said something about potato powder, which made me think, why can't I make instant potatoes? Because you know, I'm kind of on this potato kick now that we've got all these potatoes harvested. So I've done a little research looking around and I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try making instant potatoes. We'll see. Right now I'm sticking with red potatoes. So I've got them all peeled up and now I'm gonna cook them. I'm just gonna boil them right now. I've got the potatoes cooked. I'm draining the potato water off and I'm going to mash the potatoes and I'm gonna mash them till they're very smooth. You know, when you make mashed potatoes from scratch, you add butter and salt and pepper and milk and you know, a variety of goodies. But the only thing you're gonna add back if you need some liquid is the water that you've drained off of your potatoes. So I'm gonna get busy and get these potatoes all mashed and I'll come back when that's done. Okay guys, I got the potatoes whipped up uh, really smooth. I kept adding um, the potato water as I was whipping it. I used my uh, KitchenAid mixer, the, the whipping, you know, you make whipped cream, whatever that's called. And um, my, I've got five and a half trays of this that are gonna go in the dehydrator. Um, my only concern is I just hope I didn't make it too thick. I mean, I don't, I don't know what, um, I've made things too thin and, and it just didn't turn out right, but probably what I'll do is I might have to turn it over uh, while it's drying, but I'm gonna get these in the dehydrator and we'll just check them every day. Well, it's early the next morning and boy, was I ever surprised when I took the lid off. Look like great big tortilla shells. This one's dry, so it's done. But I turned over a couple of the others and there's still ones that are still wet. These were one, these trays were on the bottom. So I'm going to flip these over and let them keep drying out. And then we'll see about the potato flakes. Okay guys, I've moved over here. And what I did is early this morning, I got all the dry ones, kind of broke them up a little bit, put them in a Ziploc bag. And the ones that weren't dry, I've got them back in the dehydrator. I haven't checked them yet. But if they are crunchy, crispy, you can break them, they're dry. If you can bend them, they're not. And it's very important that it all be very dry. So right now I'm just breaking it into smaller pieces into this bowl. And then um, when I get it all broke up, I'll come back. Okay, I've got, got them all broke up into fairly small pieces, this size and smaller. And now I'm going to drop them down into my food processor and uh, we'll see what go, happens there. Now it's gonna be really loud. So, you don't wanna listen to that. So I'm gonna put some of these, um, what are we gonna call these? They're not potato chips. I'm going to put some of these crunchies in here and start getting them broke up. Okay, this is what I ended up with. And I don't know, there's some larger sizes and then almost like powder. But I don't think we want powder. So you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to get some boiling water and try to reconstitute these and see if these bigger pieces will reconstitute okay. And um, well, we'll just see what happens. Okay, I've, I've got a little glass here. Just got a couple tablespoons of our potato, whatever. I'm gonna add a little bit of boiling water to that. Not much. Okay. 
Probably got too much water. Ah, that is reconstituting great. The powder was just almost immediate. Bigger pieces are taking a little more time, but you would expect that. Holy mackerel. Looks like I could use a little more boiling water. And of course, you know, if you're making these, you would you know, like you make any other um, instant mashed potatoes, you would add butter. Part of the liquid would be butter and milk. Okay, let's let this set here a couple minutes and see what happens. But that powder reconstituted almost immediately. I may want to go down to a lot finer. Let's come back in a couple minutes. Well, guys, we got lumpy potatoes. So I am going to go ahead and make potato powder. I mean, that powder just reconstituted just like that. And the more I make it into a powder, or the finer I grind it up, the less storage it's going to take. So I'm going to keep on grinding. We'll come back and test it again. Well, here's my instant potatoes. You saw the size of pan that I started out with. The bigger pieces didn't rehydrate as quickly. The powder was just instantaneously. As soon as the water touched it, I had mashed potatoes. But you can kind of see there's bigger pieces here. I was trying to figure out how to make these so they weren't crunchy. Well, there's a trick to that. You just let it cook a little bit longer. So the last thing I did was I put um, like two tablespoons of this potato powder flakes, whatever you want to call them, in a half a cup of water and I put it in the microwave. Um, it's going to make them really thick that way, but that's so you can add butter and milk and, and uh, your seasoning. But I let them cook in the microwave, uh, the water just heat up and then I let it set longer. I actually had a couple of pieces that were pretty good size and they ended up being soft. I don't use a lot of instant potatoes myself because for one thing it's never just potatoes. This is just potatoes, nothing else. And so I know exactly what's in here. When you make potatoes, mashed potatoes from scratch, and you mash them up, you're gonna have little lumps in it anyway. Now, I always like that. To me, that's how I can tell if someone made real potatoes or instant potatoes. And um, so, we actually like this. Now, at first, we laughed about it and said, hmm, it just tastes like uh, lumpy potatoes. But we like them okay. So it may not be everybody's thing if you want your potatoes really, really smooth. And they could probably be made that way by cooking them longer than whipping them, but they're good for us. So um, I started out with two tablespoons of this potato flakes and a half a cup of water. And then added the, you, then you would add the milk and the butter to whatever consistency. But I would recommend keeping them hot and letting them reconstitute a little longer. And so I'm gonna call this mostly a success instant potatoes from scratch. Who'd have thunk it? Okay, guys, give it a try. At first, I didn't think this is something I would do again, but I think I'm going to. This is going to store a whole lot longer than the canned potatoes or the potatoes I have in my basement in storage. Okay, let's move on to the next project.